Here we have the Badger 155 Anthem that was sent in for repair and servicing. We've cleaned up the airbrush all up and we need to fit the new needle bearing. In this demonstration I shall be using the Badger needle bearing replacement and removal tool kit that Badger produce and this is available in our store I'll leave the link in the description below and the kit comes with instructions of how to use it and it comes with three needle bearings and the tools for removal and refitting the prongs or pins that you get there's the one for reaming or chamfering the needle bearing when it has been refitted a refitting tool and the pin for extracting the needle bearing out which we won't need this because there is no needle bearing in this airbrush and you can remove the handle here and it has different size attachments for different size pins that you may require to use and it is the same on this end also it has different size fittings so I've now located that we need this tool so that this slides in just to there so it is just as you may be able to see there is a red line on the pin at the and we'll just lock this in place so it's nice and snugly locked in place put the handle back on as such then your needle bearing fits on as such and the needle bearing goes in from the front of the airbrush and slides back so it sits just behind on this particular airbrush it's where the bottle or your paint bottle where the paint goes into the airbrush it just fits just past that chamber there and we just push that in and that all seems okay so now I will swap the tool over so that we can just ream it out to make sure there's no edges on the new bearing and again going in from the front and just giving it some just turning just to make sure and we're just chafing off any edges that may be on the needle bearing as we pushed it in and then uh, I always like to check with an old needle that uh, it will slide through the new needle bearing without any effort it does want a little bit of tension there and everything feels okay with that so now I will just get the airline 
give it a little blow out and with our quick disconnect I can turn the air pressure off fit a quick disconnect plug and then turn the air pressure on just to give it a blow out just to make sure there's no little bits left in there we don't want to clog up the uh, tip and that is fitting the needle bearing into the airbrush with the Badger replacement toolkit as I say I shall put the description uh, the link in the description below for this and now we can get the airbrush all fitted up so having now fitted the new needle bearing in and uh, just checking it all over uh, when I'd stripped the airbrush completely down there was something that fell out from this area which could have been part of the old needle bearing or a bit of debris from something but something fell out and instead of doing what I say as in working in the middle of a table it's dropped onto the floor I couldn't find what it was but I've just assembled all the airbrush now and just going to give it a test to see what happens and hopefully now we should be okay and the airbrush just seem to be working quite nicely now hope you found this video helpful and informative please give it a thumbs up subscribe to the channel so you don't miss future content and please do tell your friends because it does help others that are having issues with their airbrushes Thank you for watching.